Yo, what is going on YouTube? I am Germ here, as you guys can see up on the screen. Today, I want to talk a little bit about NEO Incorporated. This is ticker symbol NIO. They make it nice and easy for you, just the same as a company, uh, NEO. Uh, and today was not exactly a great day for NEO stock. Today was a really, really weird day uh, in the markets in general. Um, you know, we had this kind of weird tease where intraday we went uh, green. You know, NEO started out up, went a little bit down, came back up. We were green for a little while, and the whole market was green for a little while. It seemed like Today was going to be a good day for, for a lot of different people. A lot of different people were making a lot of different monies in a lot of different stocks. But just like on this NEO graph where things crashed down, what, 6% in the matter of a couple of hours? Pretty, pretty crazy. That's what the whole market kind of looked like, unfortunately. You know, things turned around. There was a lot of different um, reasons why things were, were moving today. Obviously, you know, the Fed had their things going on. Um, we got new uh, quotes and, and stuff from j Powell and all that stuff. Um, but yeah, ended up being a pretty rough day for NEO. To go from up to down 4.75% in just a matter of a couple hours, crazy. After hours, we're up 0.84%, so maybe things are turning around a little bit. Maybe tomorrow will be better. Maybe there'll be some green, but, uh, I mean, it's been a rough 2022 so far, obviously, with the company down 32%. Um, very, very minimal green days in the year of 2022. January has been rough. Um, you know, we're getting closer and closer to the end of the month. I know a lot of people will probably be excited about that because, overall, again, this has not been a great month. Um, but, yeah, we're just going to be going over Neo stock today, some of the news, some of the articles, what people are saying about it uh, of course as always no financial advice in this video I'm not telling you to buy or sell anything or anything like that just kind of covering the news covering the stories talking about the stock and giving my thoughts and opinions on some things that are going on so definitely drop a like if you guys do enjoy this video i'd appreciate that a ton subscribe save today and all my latest content uh and consider checking out the first thing in the description below for our patreon uh an awesome way to help support my channel and my content with that being said let's get right into this um, so obviously again, the market as a whole today, kind of a weird day, Dow Jones down 0.38%, S&P down 0.15%, NASDAQ was actually up, um, you know, which, hey, maybe that means volatile tech companies, risky companies, growth companies, forward looking companies, maybe they were green, maybe overall this was a decent day, but obviously that was not the case for NEO. Uh, and then you see that the Russell was down 1.38%, which is also another indicator, you know, of kind of risky, more speculative, uh, more kind of growth companies, obviously those being smaller and, and NEO's at a $36 billion market cap right now. Um, but yeah, this is interesting. And then today we're also, you know, pretty much pushing to 52 week lows, right? 2266 right now. Um, and the 52 week lows are 22. 53. So this is as low as NEO has been, uh, you know, in quite some time. Uh, we can look back to the last time NEO was at this price was what October of 2020. Um, and then we got obviously these crazy moves up and then here we are back down. So a couple of the articles I want to go over what some people are saying about NEO right now. I thought this one was pretty interesting from the Motley Fool. Um, kind of weird, maybe a bit of a meme, but kind of interesting. Um, would Warren Buffett buy NEO shares? I feel like that's at least a decent question to ask. It's definitely good clickbait, um, but it's also a decent question to ask because obviously Warren Buffett is, is heralded as one of the best investors of all time. Uh, and he has a pretty good track record for picking stocks that, you know, for the most part seem to outperform the market and do pretty dang well overall. So maybe you should start asking yourself more often, hey, if I'm about to invest in a stock, you know, would Warren Buffett invest in this? I don't know. That seems like a decent thesis at least. Um, and again, either way, it's just an interesting discussion to have. It, it does seem like a nice little clickbait article. So you know, we go over, uh, Warren Buffett has a history of investing in high quality growth stocks. Whenever he evaluates an investment, he's looking for a company with a standout competitive advantage and a long runway ahead for growth. Neo shares exhibit these qualities. Um, Warren Buffett, uh, qualities, they say, uh, they don't think he is too outland. They don't think it's too outlandish to suggest Buffett could acquire a stake in the Chinese EV manufacturer. He already owns a position in BYD, another Chinese enterprise that manufactures EVs. The company's badge is emblemized on the double decker buses in London. So, you know, a little bit background that like, Hey, maybe the idea of Chinese EVs and Warren Buffett going together isn't too crazy. But, uh, when Buffett bought his position in this stock, he said he was impressed by the company's innovative nature. Neo is also trying to innovate in the EV space. The corporation has pioneered an interchangeable battery pack system. You know, the whole battery swapping that we talked uh, about, I think last week, this allows users to swap out drain batteries for new ones, you know, rather than waiting for batteries to charge. I think it's really, really cool. Um, Buffett was also attracted to BYD for their growth prospects and Neo's growth potential is similar, at least in their opinion, if not even better. Uh, the company's already producing around 300,000 units per year. Meanwhile, the Chinese EV market may grow to an, uh, may grow at an annual rate of 31% until 2026. That is very, very crazy. Um, and it was already worth 98 billion in 2019. 
Um, these are the reasons why he thinks Buffett might be interested, you know, growing market, uh, a company with a significant foothold and advantage already, um, a company doing some big things with, with great future growth prospects. But then obviously there are some risks and downsides and things that might scare away a, a guy like Warren Buffett, who, you know, isn't the most risky growth investor in the world either. You know, it's not like this guy is, is logging into Wall Street bets or anything like that. The company's public listing depends on the variable interest entity structure, a gray legal area. It is neither legal or illegal under Chinese law. This adds an element of risk into the equation with NEO shares, obviously, and, and most, if not all, Chinese stocks. Uh, further, the global EV market is highly competitive, and it's only becoming more so. Definitely true. Look at how many EV companies have popped up over the last couple of years, um, you know, gone public, had crazy run-ups in their stock price, uh, and, and, you know, claim all this in innovation and growth and, and all these things in the future. Uh, while it is clear that they have the firm... Uh, the firm does have potential. It could face a significant challenge to outmaneuver the competition. Uh, Buffett may also hesitate to initiate a position in a group that is a direct competitor of an existing holding. That also makes a lot of sense. Uh, all in all, while we think NEO shares do have potential, they reckon that they might be a bit too adventurous for Warren Buffett. But again, there are some things, you know, good and bad. I kind of agree. I, I don't really see NEO as a Warren Buffett type company or anything like that, um, especially with how much retail attention it has and how much, um, you know, it, it's... It, don't know if it's exactly a screaming deal. Yes, it is at 52 week lows right now. So maybe it is more of a deal right now than it had been. Um, but right now there's a ton of deals in the market. Um, there is a ton of stocks at 52 week lows and all this stuff. So again, it doesn't necessarily strike me as a Warren Buffett company, but I did think it was at least an interesting discussion, an interesting article. We do have other people talking about NEO. Um, Investor Place telling people, hey, bet on discounted NEO as, a, as production capacity hits new heights. Um, they'd say that NEO stock below $30 is a great bet as the company enters new markets and increases production. <clears throat> They talk about how um, NEO has leased a large headquarters building in San Jose, California, and the space is more than 200,000 square feet. There will be massive research and production taking place at this facility. Um, this is not the first time the company has taken measures to extend, for, extend expand, I can't talk, production. Uh, last year, NEO announced its plans to double capacity of its Haifa plant, uh, Haifa plant, I don't know how you say that, Hefe plant, uh, to 240,000 vehicles per year. Once the expansion is complete, it'll be able to man manufacture up to 300,000 cars per year. This is a big thing. Yes, uh, you know, they, they can think the market's going to grow and they can think people are going to you know demand's going to grow and all this stuff but at the end of the day you have to be able to produce enough vehicles to meet demand uh, and obviously that requires building up a lot of infrastructure and all this stuff in place and that's expensive it takes time um, and if you want to do it right you know it, it can take more time and it can be more expensive um, neo already has presence in norway and is gaining popularity there if it manages to meet growing demand it'll be able to make uh, the most of the increasing interest in evs and, and in that way it could have a leg up on the competition you know if you're already putting in infrastructure and facilities and uh, building up your capacity well, yeah, if, the, if the, the needs or expectations or demands of the consumers go up, hey, then, then you're one of the options there. And that gives you a much better opportunity also. Uh, the company has also entered into partnership with Bausch & Iron & Steel uh, to collaborate on products and supply chain. EV makers have had a lot of trouble due to supply chain issues. So this could you know really help them out in a big way. It has already reported strong deliveries for the past two months and has successfully met projected numbers for the quarter. This will have an impact on the bottom line and you will be able to impress uh, investors further. Um, they do say that the bottom line is that analysts are bullish on neo um erica chen gave neo an outperform rating with an average price target of 37.70 again we're right now at 22.66 that's a nice little jump up uh to 37.70 uh the analyst expects 31 percent annual ev sales growth for china and 52 percent annual revenue growth through 2024 um, morgan stanley gives it an overrate uh overweight rating uh, but they do say that NEO is currently trading at a discount, at least in their opinion, and it may, ta may take some time to rebound. The fourth quarter results could push the stock higher, but investors are going to have to remain patient. Uh, do not judge the company on the temporary dip. NEO stock is one EV pick to own for the long term. So obviously some very, very big um, you know, words coming out from InvestorPlace.com there, which I think was interesting. And then also the National Bank of Canada putting their money where their mouth is and backing up EV companies. They have bought over 600 million worth of shares in Tesla and Neo, which I thought was very, very big. There's an article coming out today. Uh, a 13F filing shows they also purchased 633,607 shares of China's Neo as of December 31st, 2021 for disclosed value of 20 million dollars so obviously this is a very very big deal um they do say that um don't confuse this with the central bank of canada this is the sixth largest publicly traded commercial bank in the country with headquarters in montreal uh it has branches in most canadian provinces and boasts over 2.4 million personal clients so, you know this is a very very big and respected financial institution in canada and again they're buying over 20 million dollars in neo shares that is a very very big deal uh obviously they you know see something in this company for the long term and hey 
uh, I don't know. It's it's pretty interesting to me. But that is pretty much everybody's video today, guys. Definitely drop a like if you did enjoy. I would appreciate that so so much. Uh, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about NIO. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts and opinions. Subscribe to today and all my latest content. Hope we catch you guys in the next one. But until then, peace.